What is going on everyone? I have not made a breaking news video like this in a while, but I've missed it, so I'm back. I will still be making those other types of videos that I've been making recently, but today we have some breaking news that last night the Los Angeles Lakers cut or waived or whatever you want to say, Quinn Cook. So now Quinn Cook is a free agent. He's not on the Lakers anymore, and like I kind of feel bad for the man because he got waived by the Lakers last season too, um, right around, uh, no, he got waived at the end of the year, he got waived in the summertime by the Lakers, and then they brought him back, because he was making like $4 million, and they brought him back on a veteran minimum, and he got waived again, so he, he had just got waived in November, I believe, and then they re-signed him, and now he got waived again. And this really is in hopes of signing Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin looks like he's about to be bought out by the Detroit Pistons because nobody is going to trade for that gigantic contract, especially with the way he's been playing. He hasn't dunked a single time this year. He just does not look very athletic. But hey, you could say he's been playing that way to try to get bought out. We really don't know. And it seems like the Lakers are very, very interested in Blake Griffin. Um, so that's really exciting. I hope they get Blake Griffin. I think it would be really nice, especially right around now when Anthony Davis is out to have a power forward go in there. Hopefully he is just trying to get bought out, um, that he's not actually just this washed at this point in his career. Because I really think he has more to contribute in the NBA. And he doesn't have a championship. He really doesn't. That would really help his... Hall of Fame case, um, I believe he'd probably be a Hall of Famer, but that would really, really help his case is a championship. So if I were him, I'd probably go either there or the Nets. Uh, those are probably where he's looking between, but the Lakers want him really, really bad, and I think the Lakers can get it done, like a little revengeance on the Clippers, go to their nemesis. I think he would love that. He would strive off of that, um, and the he, like, at his speed right now, he does not look like a very good defender. He does not have a big wingspan. He's, like, famously known for having a short, like, a short wingspan compared to his body. So, I think that he'd be a better fit in L.A. where there is a little bit better defense than in Brooklyn because Brooklyn has historically bad defense. And he, this season, does not look like he could really provide much on that end. So, I think the Lakers would be a better fit for him. Especially trying to go for that championship. I think the Lakers have a better shot than the Nets. Personally, I kind of, I just do. Uh, something about that Nets team does not seem like it's going to work to me. Um, but poor Quinn Cook, man. I don't know if anyone's going to pick him up. Really, the reason we, the Lakers, I'm a Lakers fan, so I said we. The reason he got re-signed by the Lakers is because he's great in the locker room. Him and Jared Dudley. I'm actually really surprised they didn't wave Jared Dudley over Quinn Cook. Because in the past... Blake Griffin and Jared Dudley have had some beef. Um, Jared Dudley once said that Blake Griffin is the least favorite teammate he's ever had. So that would be kind of a weird reunition, re re reuniting, isness. I don't know what you call it. That would be a weird re reuniting. Um, that would be very weird. But I just like that Clippers... The Clippers' revengeance would be so, so sweet. And I bet if the Lakers won, he was on the Lakers, I think he would just absolutely love it. I think he would just strive and strive and strive off of it. So I think that would be the best spot for him to go. Quinn Cook, we'll see if maybe the Nets pick him up as like another shooter uh, because he has not had a big role at all on the Lakers. Like I expected, or a lot of people expected him to actually have a role on the Lakers since he has been there. In his two years, he has not had a role at all with the Lakers. So it is quite possible he doesn't ever get signed again. Well, he probably will get signed again at some point, but he doesn't get signed this season because people haven't seen anything from him. Nope. He hasn't been able to show what he can do. Um, so we will just have to we'll have to see if anyone does decide they want to sign him. 
I don't know about him. Blake Griffin, though, I know is going to be a hot ticket if he does get bought out. Maybe the Pistons just decide to hold on to him for some reason. That would be really, really confusing to me. Um, he wouldn't actually get bought out, technically. I, if someone's in the comments already typing that down, you might want to delete that because I forgot to say. He wouldn't technically be bought out. His contract would be stretched. So he would actually, like, it's it's complicated. Andre Drummond is possible to get bought out. Blake Griffin's contract would be stretched, not bought out. So it there's a difference. Um since he doesn't have one more year left on his contract, it's only if you have one more year left on your contract. And that's another thing, actually. Blake Griffin has more than one year left on his contract. They could keep him and just see if he is just playing bad on purpose and maybe he turns it on and then someone trades for him in the summer, something like that. They could totally do that and I could totally see them doing that. But I don't know if people really think that they will. I kind of think that they probably will stretch his contract slash buy him out whatever you want to call it just because like he he's just not looking very promising he isn't really like I would say he doesn't really feel like a part of the Pistons future whatever it is because they're looking pretty trash this year and he's he would not match up with that young core that they kind of have going um the only bright spot in that team really has been Jeremy Grant Josh Jackson I guess kind of too but they kind of have a lot of players at his position in that power forward slash center section with like Mason Plumley, Blake Griffin, um, Okafor, Jeremy Grant's kind of small forward this year, but usually he's like small forward, power forward. Uh, Josh Jackson's kind of small forward. I can't think of them all off the top of my head, but they do kind of have a lot of players in that position. Sekou Demboya is another one that just came to mind. So I really don't think I see him staying there like I know he won't stay there if his if it comes down to his contract ending um I don't know how many years he has left obviously Marc Gasol has not looked too great for the Lakers so hopefully Blake Griffin doesn't take that same fall off that Marc Gasol has definitely taken um some people have been saying wave Marc Gasol which I don't think they should I think they should honestly give more minutes to Montrez Harrell because I know he's a spark of energy on offense he's a great way to start the game I think get some easy quick points I know he's not that good on defense but his dunks and everything like that all his energy I feel like would give the Lakers a spark they need I know we don't have Dennis Schroeder too who'd be another great player that starts that would give us some great energy right away uh but yeah guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below that is it for me I will see you guys later thank you so much if you stuck around all the way to the end I'll see you guys later peace out Thank you.